Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen right now. So I did this shoot, um, well it was not sunset but this particular shot was done at sunset as you can see and I'll be showing you the retouch process right now, color grading and everything. So check it out. Alright, so whenever I'm editing the room is always dark just like this, I don't have on any light whatsoever. <laughs> Um, you're only seeing this line now because of the video, but my screen is dark and I just edit away. So this image was taken with the Sony a7 III. Let's look at the um, settings. I was using the 28 to 75 millimeter lens and I was shooting at 2.8 right here. ISO was 500, uh, 1 over 25 of a second for the shutter and the light power was at 1 over 8 so yeah so let's get right to the retouching all right so the first thing i'm going to do right now is to crop this image so i'm going to go to four to five ratio so once you click on the crop tool here you can go to four to five right here and then you can crop the image for whatever size you wish or whatever where you'd like to crop it right so i'm good with this just going to zoom it up and what we're going to do right now is to duplicate it and then I'm going to get the patch tool, which is J on the keyboard for the patch tool. And I'm just going to remove any blemishes from the skin that I would not like to have in the uh, photo. So I'm just going to do that. You can use whatever tool you wish to use to remove blemishes. I love to use the um, patch tool. All right. So to avoid shadows like this, you have to polish on your light a certain way um, to avoid this. You know, you go back or use a um, uh, soft box or something um, closer to the model uh, so you do not get this harsh shadow right here. If, if I was actually using a soft box or an octagon box, anything like that, uh, a diffuser, um, it would not have this hard line right here. But I could actually get rid of that by just bringing the light lower and um, yeah, it would just get rid of it, but I wasn't paying attention there. But that's fine. Um, nothing is wrong if you have um, a harsh shadow line like that. Trust me. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> but you can fix it by just bringing down your flash lower if you're not using. And even if you're using a diffuser, you still need to bring it lower S in some cases to get rid of the um hard line in the shadow all right just get rid of some of these perfect all right this dress is from her dress jamaica i'm gonna put the instagram page in the description and also the page for this model she's also a photographer all right so i think i'm done with removing the blemishes what i'm gonna do right now is to um, do a frequent separation so you can download the frequent separation action by using the link in the description as well i'm gonna do three for the radius all right i'm gonna come down here to the low frequency layer and then i'm gonna go to mixer brush the mixer brush is normally nested under brushes so once you click on brush uh well right click on brush yeah you should see the mixer brush there i took mine out so for the mixer brush settings ensure that this is clicked and i'm using 33 for the wet right now 75 for the load 90 for the mix 100 for the flow and ensure that this is not selected sample all layers all right um you can play with this i'm just going to bring it down to about 20 yeah i usually put that at two and for some reason i just think it's faster when i put it a little bit higher so i'm going to press well well i'm already on the mixer so what I'm going to do now is to just get my brush bigger by using the brackets on the keyboard. And I'm just going to paint our brush. Using the mixer brush, your skin will look more natural than using, um, like, blurring out the skin and stuff like that. I used to do that a lot. And I want most of my images well all of my images to look as natural as possible i don't like the plastic look um 
on my photos anymore. <laughs> yeah. I want it to look as natural as possible. And in order for the image to look really, really good, you do some color grading and it will pop. So, yeah. So all I'm doing is just brush and getting my brush smaller. And yeah, just brush. That's it. That looks good. I'm going to come down here as well. So the mixer brush basically evens out the skin, which is awesome. And you want to ensure that you stay far away from any clothing or anything like that because the mixer brush doesn't work well with clothing or anything, you know, beside whatever you're retouching. All right. So I'm going to do the hand as well like that i'm gonna do her tummy as well and if you if you take a look you see where it's it's flattening the image itself i'm gonna do right here as well also if the area is dark you can brush from the light area and it will brighten the rest of the image. Sometimes when you're using the mixer brush as well, you may think that nothing is happening, but if you do like a before and after, you'll see where something was definitely uh, been done <laughs> while making the adjustments. All right, so I think I am done with the mixing. So let's look at a before and after real quick. So. Let me just zoom it up right there like that. So I'm going to hold on on Alt. And that's going to be, well, Command for you if you're using a Mac. Sorry, it's not going to be Command or Alt. It's going to be Option. And I think it's going to be Alt on the key on the Windows. I, I don't remember. But yeah. Um, before, after. Before, after. So that's it. So I think I want to blend here a little bit more. Go back to the mixer brush and just now blend right there. And then I'm going to do some highlighting now. So I'm going to do dodge and burning for the highlights. So I'm just going to zoom down a little bit. And anywhere in the image that has an highlight, you want to highlight it. All right. So I'm going to go to dodge. I'm going to get the brush. I'm going to put my brush flow at 1%. All right, and then bring this down as small as I can. And then I'm just going to brush the highlighted area. Right. So let's look at the before and after for the highlighted area. So that's before, after. Um, I think I want to do here a little bit as well. Right. And just there a little bit, just a little bit, just to just lighten up certain dark section of the skin. I don't think I need to ab apply any more um, highlights. I think I'm good with that. Let me see something here. Yeah, I think I'm I'm good with the highlighting that I've done. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, create a new layer. So Shift, uh, Option, um, Command, E to create a new layer. And if you look on the screen, you're going to see where I put the, um, the Windows shortcut. And then um, Command, J to create a duplicate. Then I'm going to go to Camera Raw, under Filter, then Camera Raw. And then I'm going to press Auto and see what it looks like. Auto looks really good. So I'm going to click Auto. And then I'm just going to make some small adjustment going down to where it says um, Collaboration. And then where it says Blue Primary, I'm just going to play with that a little bit. 
just a little bit gonna minus nine all right i'm gonna come back up to the basic and i'm gonna go to dehaze just like that good and then for the back um highlight i'm just gonna play with the highlight a little bit and see um maybe right there uh what else uh, maybe shadows a little bit like that good i think i'm good with that and then um let me go to colors and see if i could play with the blue in the sky maybe that um what else what else what else should i do let me play with the curves a little bit let me see um all right i don't think i needed to touch the curves no not gonna do any curves how do i how do i um get rid of this now i don't think i like what i've done with the curve i don't know how to reset the curves <laughs> um there should be an option here to reset the curves let me see reset no i thought something would be here for you to reset the curve all right i'm just gonna put them back where they were because i i don't see the option to reset it so that should be good um i should figure that out later because i don't want to reset everything also, I'm going to save the preset for this because I have another image I'm going to be working on as well, and I want to use the same color. So to save the preset, all you do is to come here and click Save, and then Save again. And um, I'm going to save this as, what should I save it as? Um, I'm going to save it, her name yeah good so whenever i i'm going to work on another image like this so the color grading is going to be the same thing so all i do is to come here and load it well i think it should be there already yeah it's right here already automatically these are the other ones that i've created all right good so i'm going to press ok and that is the color grading so let's do before and after before and after good so i think that would be it for the image but i'm gonna delete this uh, frequency separation layer and i'm gonna create a new one i want to blend out the skin a little bit more so i'm gonna keep it at 6.4 for the radius i'm gonna come here i'm gonna go to the low frequency layer and go back to the mixer brush again by pressing m on the keyboard for my shortcut to get the mixer brush and i'm just gonna blend out here dude that's it that's it that's it that's it all right guys so that is it for this video uh stay tuned uh for another video which will be coming soon and i think i should be uploading a behind the scenes for this water shoot i am not 100 percent sure but let's see how that goes thank you guys for watching and have a good one Bye bye